I recently experienced a devastating betrayal on what should have been a special day, my birthday. I discovered that my girlfriend, who is 29, has been cheating on me with a married man for the past four months. The affair began while I was away on a three-week holiday with my dad. She doesn't seem to view her actions as cheating. Instead, she justifies it by claiming that they are in love. I found out about the affair in a heartbreaking way. I had planned to spend my birthday with her, but she asked if she could go out with her friends instead. I requested that she let me know she made it home safely, but when I called her at 5 a.m. after a sleepless night, she hung up on me. This was the moment I decided to confront her. I drove to her house and, from a distance, I saw him leaving her place. After that, she sent me a text wishing me a happy birthday, and inviting me over, apologizing for not messaging earlier. When I arrived, she greeted me with a kiss and handed me a present. But in my gut, I felt something was wrong. For months, I had grown suspicious of her relationship with a co-worker who had been picking her up and dropping her off from work. We didn't live together, and she often told me she was working late. I had repeatedly asked her if anything was going on, and she had always denied it. I pointed out that men don't typically do something like this out of mere kindness, but she always dismissed my concerns. Finally, I confronted her with what I had seen. At first, she begged me to stay and talk things through. She claimed she didn't know why she had cheated, stating that she had been cheated on before and couldn't comprehend inflicting that pain on someone else. When I expressed how deeply hurt I was and that she had shattered my trust, she couldn't handle the weight of her actions and asked me to leave. I decided to block her on all platforms, realizing that the signs had been there all along. In hindsight, I see how she had been tired and irritable, hiding her phone and emotionally inconsistent. She would give just enough affection to make me feel secure, telling me she loved me every day while urging me not to overthink things. Little details began to add up. A bottle of massage oil that went missing, her sudden interest in wearing nice underwear to work, and the random bruises that she claimed were from being hit with a belt during intimacy. The emotional turmoil I've faced since that day has been overwhelming. I feel broken and sick. I've never felt such a strong connection with anyone before. And now, losing that feels like losing a part of myself. Despite the heartbreak, she has been trying to reach me through friends, expressing her need to know how I am. She even told one of my friends that she knew I was too good for her and that she had always felt that way. I'm struggling with how to move forward. How can I ever trust someone again? How do I view people in the same light after this? I'm shocked that I didn't recognize the signs earlier, as they now seem glaringly obvious. I was naive to think that someone who had been cheated on would never do that to someone else. She told me that she and her affair partner were in love, and I pointed out that she had crossed a line. I had always made it clear that if she ever betrayed my trust, I would walk away. I asked her where she thought this relationship would lead, and she admitted she didn't know. In the end, I felt like I was just a backup plan for her. Her past might have contributed to her actions. Her father had left her mother for another woman when she was younger. It was painful to realize that she was trying to take someone else's husband away, especially since this man has children. I also discovered that he had been telling his wife that he was working night shifts while spending time with my ex. The timeline of her being unavailable from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. all fell into place. Despite the chaos, I informed her family about the affair. I felt it was necessary for them to know the truth, and I thanked them for welcoming me into their lives. After all of this, she sent me messages insisting that I had no right to involve her family, which just showed her unwillingness to take responsibility for her actions. I realize now that I was never her priority. Once the thrill of their sneaking around fades, I suspect she will come back to me when she realizes he won't commit to her. I have come to terms with the fact that I was merely a fallback for her. In an effort to seek closure, I reached out to the wife of the man she was seeing through Facebook Messenger. At first, she was confused and skeptical, but I explained the situation to her. I told her my ex's name and mentioned that her husband was having an affair. 
I provided her with my ex's address and suggested she confront him when he was supposed to be on a night shift. As I navigate through this pain, I'm also craving the intimacy and comfort that we shared. I know my worth now, and I'm determined to walk away from this situation, though the longing for connection remains. Ultimately, I have learned a painful but crucial lesson. I will not overlook red flags in the future, and I won't let someone's betrayal define my self-worth. The narrator recently discovered that their girlfriend had been unfaithful, revealing a significant betrayal that has left them feeling devastated. This revelation came as a shocking birthday surprise, as they learned that their girlfriend had been involved in an affair with a married man for four months. Despite her claims that she was in love with him, the narrator firmly believes this constitutes cheating. The narrator had suspicions about their girlfriend's fidelity for some time, particularly because she had been secretive about her whereabouts. On a night when they were supposed to spend time together, she instead went out with friends, and when they attempted to contact her late at night, she abruptly hung up the phone. This raised red flags for the narrator, who decided to investigate further. On their birthday, after watching her partner with the other man, the narrator confronted her upon arriving at her house. When they entered, she greeted them with birthday wishes and a present, but the happiness was short-lived as the narrator confronted her about the affair. Despite having multiple opportunities to confess, she denied any wrongdoing each time. The affair reportedly began when the narrator was away on holiday with family, which added to their feelings of betrayal. The girlfriend later expressed confusion about her actions, stating that she didn't understand why she had cheated, especially given her past experiences with infidelity. The narrator reflects on the signs they missed. Their girlfriend's increasing irritability, her secretive behavior regarding her phone, and unexplained bruises on her body, which she initially attributed to accidents at work. This realization has been incredibly painful, as the narrator grapples with feelings of betrayal and confusion. Since the breakup, the girlfriend has been persistent in trying to contact the narrator through mutual friends, expressing that she needs to know how they are doing. She has even acknowledged that the narrator was too good for her. This only adds to the emotional turmoil, as the narrator struggles to understand how they can move forward from this betrayal. They feel broken and sick, recalling the deep connection they once had and the pain of losing that trust. The narrator is also taking precautions regarding their health, ordering a test kit to ensure they are STI-free, despite their girlfriend's claims that she and her lover are clean. They realize that they have been overly dependent on her for emotional support, recognizing the need to regain their sense of self. Although the pain is still fresh, there are glimmers of hope as they start to focus on their career and personal growth. In closing, the narrator acknowledges the difficulty of rebuilding trust and moving forward after such a profound betrayal. They hope that with time, they will learn from this experience and eventually meet someone who truly respects and loves them. The protagonist finds themselves entangled in a tumultuous affair with a married woman who has children. For months, this relationship has been characterized by secrecy and deception, with the woman involved in a web of lies, telling her family and friends that everything is fine while engaging in an affair. The protagonist decides to confront her family about the situation, expressing gratitude for their welcome and indicating that they would be available if needed in the future. This gesture appears to be a way to distance themselves from the chaos of the affair. In response, the woman reacts defensively, sending messages claiming that the protagonist had no right to involve her family in their situation. Her frustration seems rooted in the fact that she can no longer play the victim or the poor mistreated girl now that her secrets have been exposed. The protagonist feels that once the initial excitement of the affair fades and the woman realizes that her married partner will not commit to her, she will inevitably return, seeking comfort in the familiarity of their relationship. Throughout this experience, the protagonist recognizes their position in the woman's life. They were never truly a priority, but rather a backup plan. The woman pleads with the protagonist not to cut her off completely, revealing her desperation to maintain some semblance of connection. However, the protagonist remains resolute, having previously established boundaries about how they expect to be treated. As the relationship unravels, the protagonist begins to understand the psychological dynamics at play. 
The woman's troubled past, including her father leaving her mother for another woman, seems to have influenced her current behavior. This insight leads the protagonist to see her actions as a reflection of her unresolved issues rather than as a personal attack. Amidst the emotional turmoil, the protagonist uncovers the truth about the affair. The woman's partner has been lying to his wife, claiming to be working night shifts while actually spending time with the woman. This revelation explains her extended absences from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., which had previously raised suspicions. Despite the pain and confusion, the protagonist vows to learn from this experience. They realize that their worth is not tied to the woman or the relationship. In a decisive act, they inform the wife of the affair after discovering her on Facebook. The protagonist explains the situation, providing details about the woman and her husband, hoping to bring clarity to the wife, who had been led to believe that her partner was merely friends with the protagonist. After a week of tension following the breakup, referred to as D-Day, the protagonist finds themselves grappling with the aftermath. The woman continues to reach out through emails and mutual acquaintances, attempting to maintain contact. Although this proves challenging, the protagonist resists the temptation to re-engage, determined to uphold the boundaries they established. In this time of reflection, the protagonist recognizes that the woman's actions were indicative of her character and a lack of genuine love. They come to terms with the fact that true affection cannot coexist with betrayal. The woman acknowledges her mistakes in an email which, while painful, provides some closure. The protagonist realizes they have relied too heavily on the relationship for emotional fulfillment, leading to feelings of dependency. Gradually, the protagonist begins to rediscover themselves. They apply for a job that aligns with their career goals, something they wouldn't have pursued while entangled in the unhealthy relationship. This decision marks a turning point in their healing process. While the heartache lingers, they find comfort in the fact that they are regaining control over their life. With time, the protagonist starts to heal. They find solace in the ability to sleep and eat properly again, experiencing a resurgence of joy and vibrancy in life. As they reflect on the ordeal, they express hope for the future, understanding that the lessons learned from this painful chapter will guide them toward healthier relationships. They remain optimistic about meeting the right person when they are truly ready, focusing on personal growth and self-improvement.